So hey guys, now let's install Kali Linux. Here I'm going to install the latest version available, that is 2020.4. The easy and the safest way is begin with downloading required files. The first of all, Kali Linux ISO file, then Rufus and ECBCD. Now once you download Kali Linux ISO file, open Rufus and select the ISO file and make sure that you insert your pen drive. Now the important thing here is you are going to form in DD form. Let other settings be default. Now at the time while Rufus is running, let us create the partition for Linux. Minimum 65 GB is required, but the sophisticated way to create nearly 70 GB. So I am creating 70 GB. Once you are done, let's move on. Once Rufus finish its work, close it, restart the windows. While rebooting, press the key to open bootable menu. In my case, F2 is my key. Here, advanced boot sequence where there is a list of bootable medium. Since we are using USB, move the USB up. So the board will check USB as a bootable media. Apply it and exit. Now you will be entry into the Kali Linux installation media. Pick up your language, country and keyboard format. Now, you don't have to skip the option to configuration of internet. So we made a blank open network where it fails and go to the skip option.
once you skip now create an account for yourself here comes the important part partition this let's enter manually first bootable partition which requires minimum 2 gb change mounting point as boot next root partition which required minimum 30 gb then next home partition which required minimum 30 gb and at last swap area which required minimum 2 gb basically swap area means virtual memory now let's create the partition but another one important thing which is to remember the number of root partition in my case mine is 6 then later there is no use of network mirror since we are using usb let's install the default tools now we are going to install group boot loader do you remember the number of boot partition type d ev slash sda and the number of boot partition now once you finish installation system will reboot itself careful while removing your pen drive remove your pen drive after message shown rebooting system now you should enter into windows normally which means we have done a great work now open ecbcd in that add new entry then the next in which type grep2 name kali linux apply it now once you restart you will see a uh, windows and kali linux separately now choose kali linux to enter into it in case you are uninstalling kali linux this method will help from grub error
So since we made our pen drive as a bootable media in the DD form, it will show as a reduced size of storage. So in case you need to rescue the reduced reduced storage, I made a video on it. So you can get from here. So thank you guys. See you next time.